Look how many V-Bucks we've given away so far, hater! And the next winner could be you! Wow, the steps are real easy this time. Step one, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on. Accept all notifications from this channel because you want to be in the loop on the notification squad. Step two, leave a like on this video. Very easy to do. Step three, all you have to do is simply leave a comment. What is your favorite place to land in Fortnite Battle Royale? Also, I want you to leave your country and your console in there just once so I know where to send it to and which console to get the points for. And you can also respond to that question multiple times. The more times you reply or make a response or put a comment in on where your favorite place to land is, the more entries you get into the contest. Remember, one like equals one V-Buck. Capped out at 10,000 maximum. The more likes this video gets, the more V-Bucks the winner will get. And it could be you! While the rest of the internet was busy wondering how to get the pumpkin head launcher in Fortnite Battle Royale, Battle Royale Edition, we were busy finding new easter eggs inside of this crazy map, Fortnite Battle Royale, and yes, folks, we found the best easter egg in the game. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. People have been on YouTube all day wondering what the heck is the cube gonna do? And after many countless nights of speculation and endless live streams watching the cube, its fate has now been sealed in this video. I will be showing you today what happens to the cube above Loot Lake. I hope you weren't a big fan of Kevin because today we're saying bye bye to our favorite little cube in Fortnite Battle Royale. And yes, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you guys were ever interacted with the cube, we also call him Kevin in the community. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below what you think is going to happen with the cube event in Fortnite Battle Royale. Battle Royale Edition. But Halloween is not over, even though this season seems to be the shortest one of the entirety of Fortnite. Kevin has returned immediately. I really wish they kept the bouncy loot lake in as an aside. That was actually pretty fun to play in, and it was only there for like three days. And then Kevin came out of the ground again and made an island float. Now the island's disappearing. The mystery of what has happened to Fortnite is about to be concluded in this episode. As you can see, there's a giant portal above Loot Lake. There's the siphon filter at the bottom, that's a video game by the way, that shoots you at the top of Loot Lake and it throws you up in the air into a tornado crossfire hurricane beside Kevin the Cube. And if you still shoot at Kevin the Cube, he will attack you with his electricity bolts. But thankfully, thankfully he's so far away, it doesn't even really matter at this juncture. Kevin the Cube is flying though, so I mean that's fairly scary in the Fortnite universe. Anyway, this investigation required the utmost decency and diligence on behalf of its lead investigator, J-I-M-B-O-T-H-Y. And as such, I have opted to use the main weapons of the game to poke and prod this cube into submission. We will be discovering the mystery today and solving this crime. So the first thing I wanted to do was see how the new quad ATV handled beside Kevin the Cube. And spoiler alert, it's only the greatest thing in the game ever! I can't believe how much fun this is, driving this rocket powered car through this really shallow lake at a very slow speed, seriously. I wish the boost lasted a little longer so you could get right across the lake in one boost. Sometimes from like just from the shortest point of the lake, it's like three boosts to get into the tornado crossfire hurricane that will launch you up above Kevin and above the entirety of the map. 
I don't know if the floating island's going to disappear. I hope it doesn't, folks, but you never know. This is Epic Games we're talking about. And can we get a rip in the chat? I know all you OGs who played back in Season 3, the superhero season, I have to bring this report in public light to this attention to this fact. The fact that the superhero base and the supervillain base, Omega's Lair and Carbide's Lair, is now in disrepair. You've I've done a whole... I've done a whole expose in a previous video on this issue and the the thing is I, I really thought these were awesome places on the map and now they're totally gonna get ruined and then turned into something new that's the only bright side of this it's like seeing your old nostalgia thing that you used to enjoy as a kid just totally ruined through disrepair and neglect that's what it is it's your old swing set that you didn't use for like 10 years and now it's all rusted and rotten away outside okay it's the fort that you, your parents built you when you were four years old and when you look outside the roof is all caved in and there's like animals living inside of it yeah that's basically what happened to Carbide and Omega's houses so rest in peace that but I also covered this in a previous video it's not important Today, we have to deal with Kevin the Cube. And I can't, can't believe I'm admitting this to you guys. The quad rocket launcher ATV rocket booster is just so much fun. I actually got distracted. Yes, I know this is supposed to be a serious investigation, but you know what? You have to have a little fun when you're playing this game. So I tried to see if I could basically you know, make the car fly like how it does in Rocket League. All that we know about Kevin is that he seems to be spawning in the new Zombies mobs. If you like zombies, we'll show you how to get the Ray Gun. Comment down below if you want to see the Ray Gun in Fortnite Battle Royale because I know how to get it. It's coming in a future episode of the podcast. You just have to be subscribed with notifications turned on. Find out how. Hater! But today, it's not about the zombies spawning in the map. The best way to kill them, by the way, the crossbow. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has unlimited ammo. It does 256, so it kills them in one shot. Literally the greatest weapon in the game for these zombies missions. And you don't waste any ammo, and it's, it's super fast to do. That is not the point. The point is, Kevin spawned these little purple rock ruins everywhere and made the shadow stones that banish people to the shadow realm appear on the map. These are little pieces of Kevin, like his hair that all fell out and then he was like, here, go ahead, take this and eat this. And then people in Fortnite were like, nope, that's weird. I ain't doing that, okay? But the mystery has unfurled itself. I'm talking the Kevin the Fortnite Cube, the Fortnite Cube event inside Battle Royale Fortnite is coming to a close. This seasonal chapter has basically been cursing us for almost two seasons now at this point. The latter half of season five, the entirety almost of it, of season six, this queue has been the main focus of the game and there have been no announcements on Epic Games' part as to what or why or where this cube is going. All we know is that it has recently stopped above Loot Lake hovering ominously above the lake. People think, oh there's gonna be a volcano. Well, that's not gonna happen, okay? That's not happening in this video. We're not showing you the video because today I'm gonna reveal to you the ultimate truth of the Fortnite Battle Royale cube. So I was just playing the game casually, again using the quad ATV to fly up in there and have some shenanigans for myself. I was also using the thermal scope to find all of these crazy loot drops that came from the sky because I wanted to get some cool weapons to see how they interact with the cube. Now the weirdest one that interacts is the guided missile. I don't know why this does it, but every time it interacts with the cube, the sound gets louder and louder. And actually, I noticed this right above. When you were aiming at the portal, the sound 
started to get louder. It reminded me, honestly, of the asteroid in the very third, second, third season of Fortnite Battle Royale. You didn't know there was an asteroid that came, a comet that wiped out the map of Dusty Divot, turning it, I mean, Dusty Depot, sorry. Need more coffee. It totally destroyed it and turned it into Dusty Divot. And its sound grew louder if you aimed the reticle at it. So if you aim at the portal, you'll hear a much louder sound of the portal growing. Now, this was all captured in game. So what I had to do is I actually had to get to the top. And I built a little staircase to see. And Kevin started floating in the sky. I'm talking, he was floating above the island. The floating island, he was on top of that. He was actually past the build limit. I couldn't get to him. And then all of a sudden he started spinning. He started spinning in the sky. I'm like, what is going on? Where are you going, Kevin? No, no, come back. And he started flying away and glowing like some weird transformer gone to an 80s neon strip club in the middle of 1974. And I had no clue. Where is he going? Kevin! Kevin! Come back! Well, that happened. Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable and informative. Be sure to leave a like and share it on your social media platforms. The craziest cube portal gameplay of Fortnite Battle Royale ever on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video.